This initiative is very important and look, ARA play a very critical role in bringing together all the rail companies of Australia. Australia is a pretty good example of, of failure to standardise and iTrace does provide a perfect opportunity to standardise the collection of data for a lot of the components that are used on our railway systems. Standardisation means that there's a common componentry that we use across the industry. It will reduce costs, it will improve service to customers. iTrace is a perfect opportunity to get it right and it's a critical building block. Through simple barcoding of componentry coming into our business, we can then track it in a consistent way. It can then interface with our various uh, business processes and systems. It's a vital component. It's critical, I think, these sorts of initiatives get applied across industry as a whole because we'll all benefit and that will benefit all our customers. RTC recognises that, you know, that we need to continue to innovate and apply new technologies to stay competitive. We've implemented a, an asset management improvement program. The corner piece, of course, is a LIPSAL maintenance uh, management system. And that's all about uh, digitising all the assets that we've got and to develop a system that we can trace those assets we can understand their condition, we can get the information from the various suppliers and will just help us uh, maintain that network more efficiently, more cost effectively and provide better services to our customers who reliability and the capacity to operate their businesses. Our thinking is a little bit further ahead. We're looking at how we can then integrate this exercise into our uh, asset management program with Ellipse. Ultimately we've got greater plans to Broad, more broadly expand this across our whole business process and uh, asset management systems. You know, iTrace is an important part of that whole exercise to move freight on the rail network to meet the requirements of the supply chain and uh, it's critical that we do back systems like this and get them deployed. We recognise like any industry that uh, you've got to embrace the latest technology to stay competitive and We've been doing a lot over the last five years with our advanced train management system. We've got the network control optimisation project in the Hunter Valley. We've implemented 3G technology across our whole rail network. Now we recognise that if you're going to be a competitive member of the supply chain, you've got to embrace digital technology and you've got to implement that technology across your systems to meet what the customer needs. The world is changing, ARTC recognises that our whole people strategy is to bring people in who can apply those technologies, who can create innovation, can create ideas. Inland Rail will be a digital railway with all the new componentry that will be installed along that 1700 kilometres of track. We'll be, uh, we'll be able to monitor it, we'll be able to map it, we'll be able to know where it is. But my message to industry is to get on board with iTrace we don't want to make the mistakes of the past in terms of standardisation across uh, the Australian network. I think getting on board with this project is a small step to continuing to improve the performance of rail, to standardise our approach to managing our assets, tracing our components with the aim of getting lower costs for our customers and better services. So get on board.